My guest on the Culture Crawl this morning is Jody Hovlin from Riverside Theater talking about the upcoming uh, play Kimberly Akimbo, and and Jody is Ms. Akimbo herself. I am. I this am. is uh, this is David Lindsay Abair, <laughs> one of you know one of the great contemporary playwrights whose stuff is funny and weird and horrifying <laughs> and loving and it's just you know it's it's just everything and i know that you you all do a lot of his plays you know we did his play funny mirrors a number of years ago and that's of the same uh genre really as kimberly akimbo um uh, very colorful characters and exaggerated reality and just a roller coaster ride of theatrical fun, unexpected and zany. Um, he's become more realistic as his career has gone on, produced Rabbit Hole, and last year we did Good People. Um, and we've brought back almost the entire Good People cast for this Kimberly Akimbo. Uh, so we are really excited. And this, the, you know, kind of meta a concept uh the you know the elevator speech on this is this is an opportunity for you to play a teenager <laughs> it is it is and and actually i'm too young for this role uh kimberly kimberly akimbo is a 16 year old teenager but she has a rare age advancing disease called progeria and she is played by an actor in her 60s or 70s and um I've always wanted to do this character, and now I'm in the range. Um, you know, he has these characters that to the average person seem to be distorted or very out of the ordinary, very rare. Uh, he has a woman who has suffered a stroke in Fuddy Mirrors. And yet those characters the one are the ones that actually are sort of the moral center and the normalcy in the play. And everyone around them is far more dysfunctional and uh, wacky than they are. So it's a really interesting theatrical device. And I'll tell you, your inner teenager is never too far from the surface. I, I have said that many times <laughs> over the years that there are there are parts of me that will always be seventeen. Oh, it has been so much fun to say things like, "Dad, I'm on the phone," and uh, we're just having a blast. So Tim Bud gets to play my dad this time. This past summer in Othello, he got to be my husband and got to stab me. So <laughs> this time I, I get him with some uh, verbal barbs. So you're, so you, you know, you're working through your own relationship issues <laughs> with your fellow cast at the same time. That's right. Everybody That's right. wins. Uh, <laughs> this family is really wonderful. I think of it as a, an Archie Bunker-like family. And um, if you just consider your most colorful relatives, you know, the, the aunt who doesn't have a really good filter, who says outrageous things. The, the uncle who maybe drinks a little bit too much but is well-intended. And um, in this cast, there is a pesky criminal aunt played by Christy Hartsgrove Moores. Uh, Tim Budd plays a very likable dad who really tries to do the right thing but misses important things like getting home to make dinner and, oh, by the way, it's your daughter's 16th birthday. Um, the mother, played by Carrie Houchen's wit, is very, very pregnant, very hypochondriacal. Um, and all of this is whirling around kind of a family secret about why this family had to suddenly move to Bogota, New Jersey, and what that's all about. So it's a, it's a fun time in the theater. The language, I will say, is... Um, boisterous and a bit coarse actually i think filthy isn't it phil no no foul mouth foul mouth that's it foul i was i was i was pick, I, it's, it's, on, it's on the poster pick, and pick i pick your descriptors carefully carefully yes <laughs> foul mouth not for yeah not not filthy but breezy <laughs> talking with jody hovland from riverside theater about kimberly akimbo the next play there so this is when you do a play like this uh, that is, you know, it's quirky characters and it is a comedy, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of things going on underneath the surface. Yeah. How do you keep it from, how do you keep from just playing it for laughs and just making it kind of a farce? Oh, you know, it all has to be played from the heart. And I think that's the wonderful balance in this play is, yes, the characters are outrageous from time to time, time to time, but they also experience those great human universals. They're lonely 
they discover first love. Uh, there is wonderful poignancy, and I think that's the brilliance of Lindsay Abair, is that he can he can ride that seesaw so beautifully. So one moment you're you're slapping your knee, and the next moment you're going oh. <laughs> So um, playing it, playing it with sincerity and truthfulness is always the objective. Well, the play is Kimberly Akimbo opening. Opening on the seventeenth of October okay. and running through November second. Okay, so directed it's... by Sean Christopher Lewis. Several weeks to uh, to see it. Yes, indeed. And uh, shows, you know, we won't go through the entire, but yeah. generally speaking, is well, Thursday through Sunday, right? Indeed. And Sunday is a matinee, and Thursday through Saturday evenings are at 7.30. Sunday's at 2, and there are a couple of talkbacks, so an opportunity to meet the cast and let us know what you think. Those, I, lo- I love going on talkback oh, nights. Yeah, yeah. because We always learn a lot about the play from the point of view of the audience, so it's a great opportunity to make connections with the people who are in the seats. And if people want tickets, they can come to your website, which is? They can, riversidetheater.org, or just call us at 338-7672. Only 118 seats, everything reserved, up close and personal. It's a good experience. The play is Kimberly Akimbo at Riverside Theater in Iowa City. Again, it's riversidetheater.org if you'd like more information. Jody, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you.